Hi everyone, my name is Mike Mello. I'm a broker associate at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. And today we're at the Palms at Saranoa. Uh, we're showing you some of the actual homes they have here. This is an active adult community. And what that means is 55 and up. But if you're active and they have a great amenity center for a whole bunch of things to do, this would be a community that you want to check out here in Florida, beautiful Florida, great place to retire. So uh, we showed you some, or we have some single family homes. We'll have a link below for all our active adult communities that you can browse through. So make sure you go to our channel and actually look for that 55 and up active adult community uh, little uh, section where you can go and look at all the videos for these. Uh, but we had some single family homes that we did all the way up to, I think, 2,024 square feet. And then, of course, we got these uh, these villas right here. So this villa, I think 1,607 square feet of living. It's two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Uh, it's got the two car garage. And of course you share the wall with the villa on the other side, which also has that two car garage. It's pretty much a carbon copy, but just reversed on the other side. It's called the Cambridge. Um, and we're gonna take a tour of it. So follow me this direction, as you can see the front of the house. And of course we come down here, some nice landscaping going down this pathway, a paver pathway. And then it comes up to the front covered entryway. You can probably Put a little cheer out here enjoy the florida weather um, got the window that looks out from the little office they have and then the door right in front of me the door does have a combo lock and it does have one of those smart ring doorbells so let's go ahead and go inside and show you the home all right so welcome inside this villa so as i close the door behind me like with the single family homes with these model homes they have this big glass window in the front of the door. The basic home will come with a solid door, but we do have that window up there to let some natural light in. And of course we do, let's see what they have here. They have the tile going throughout. Um, a lot of times you'll have the tile just an entryway and a carpet throughout. And then they have this cool design. This is something that you have to do after the fact where they have the different two colors of blues or like aquas with this um, woodworking, like a chair, chair rail. And it goes all the way around. I think it's throughout the whole house, something that the actual builder won't actually offer. Now, as far as the pricing, of these houses go this is going to be in the low 300s uh, currently we're in october 2021 they don't have any villas available right now but they're expecting villas to be available in about a couple months so probably in the new year they'll have villas and you're probably looking at the low 300s for this specific type of home so we come over here we do have an office so even if you're retired, you can still get some office work done. I mean, right now you can pretty much do anything from home. So instead of being in California or New York or one of those states with the high state income taxes, you come to Florida, no state income taxes and do all your work right here. And of course here they have the New York, London and Tokyo time. Don't ask me if those are accurate. Um, I know that one's not accurate because it's probably closer to five o'clock right now. So, but um, cool little design, nice little artwork about New York there on the thing. So this is definitely set up for someone from New York would probably come here with all that New York stuff. We have the entryway here, this cool little furniture mirror, and then we come over to the main part of the house. So as we come this direction, we'll see we have the kitchen, we have our dining room, we have our family room. Um, but before we go there, we got a whole bunch of doors down here that we have to explore. I haven't opened these doors, so I don't know what's behind them. This is sort of like the fun thing of like, let's open the door and see what's behind door number one. Door number one, what do you think? Pantry? Pantry, okay. Sandy says pantry, I say pantry. Pantry, uh, or yeah, it's a small pantry. But I think that might be the only pantry that's here. Uh, okay, so, okay, then we have uh, we have door number two here. This one might be a little bit harder. I got to flip this. Uh, this is the coat. This is the coat, the coat closet. So when you come in the coat closet, I know what this door is. I think this is, you think it's a garage? I think it's the air handler. I think that's the garage. No, this is probably the garage. You're probably right. Gra yeah, it is the garage. I can tell because it has these uh, hinges there to make the garage. So yeah, you got it, Sandy. It is the garage. Um, as you can see, it's a nice size two car garage. Um, you have the actually water heater here too. So um, plenty and plenty of space here. Little area here to a drop zone for your umbrella. You can stuff and then air, air, air handler she says air handler let's see if but maybe laundry room okay yeah yeah laundry room it's like as soon as and air handler you're half right well, there's no light on in here so anyway you have your laundry room washer and dryer now they don't include the washer and dryer here with this builder pretty easy to get um, and then of course we have the air handler on this other side so we got plenty of space even got some storage space over here behind the door so nice size uh, laundry room for this house so anyway Let's continue the tour down this direction. So going through the kitchen. So we'll see what we got. We got the Whirlpool refrigerator. 
Um, we do have some cabinets. These are some of the other cabinets in this community were a little bit more um, higher, higher um, level cabinets with a little bit more design. So check out the videos for this. This is more of like a basic design. Also the granite countertops um, go through. We have our Whirlpool range and microwave. Um, there's no backsplash on this one, something you could probably do after the fact if you want to backsplash, but the builders do do it. Um, and then on this side, we do have the granite with, uh, of course, the sink dishwasher and lots of little storage here um, for your stuff. So next room would be the um, dining room. So this would be the dining room right here. It's currently set up for uh, six people. But before we continue the tour that way, I think there's more stuff over here. So let's go this direction first. We have a door here. I say towel, linen closet, linen closet. We both say linen closet. Yep, linen closet right behind here. They even have some shampoo here. I wonder if, they, I wonder if they've uh, glued that. Oh, they didn't glue that one. A lot of times they glue, they glue the stuff so no one uses it, but I guess no one really wants to use the shampoo. Not like the cookies they have in other places they glue up. So anyway, uh, <laughs> next, next room is the bathroom. We have our granite countertops, of course, the cabinet sink, mirror and light. And then behind me is a bathtub shower combo with this white tile and that's it toilets right there so uh next room would be the bedroom this is bedroom number two so this is pretty basic this home here is probably out of the four, this is the fourth home we've done today in this community this one's probably got the more basic um, upgrades compared to the other ones the other ones has some really nice upgrades in it this one has the carpet we don't have too much stuff going on in the walls here um, so we do have a closet behind me that goes back to probably the end of that wall right there. So nice size. All right, so let's go ahead and check out that family room area. Down this direction, we pass the kitchen again. We pass the dining room with the big mirror. Sandy, thank you for helping me. She loves not getting in the, in the mirror, so of course she'll be scanning it this way. But Sandy's helping me behind the camera today. Um, it's either usually Sandy or Haley. Um, and then here is the family room, a nice little couch. We have that same sort of uh, woodworking design going through the whole house here. And then we do have our TV area. So you can sit here, enjoy TV. And then we have this nice sliding glass door going out to a covered patio. This one's got a nice view of like a pond view and some grassy area. Um, you can sort of see in the distance where the mailboxes are and they even have the community center with all the amenities and stuff. They have, uh, I think it looks like a ten uh, tennis, it's either tennis or pickleball. They're playing out there. There's actually a couple of people playing it right now. And of course they have a really nice pool out there also. So you wouldn't even need to put a pool here if you don't want to, you can just walk over to the pool. So we go over here. Now this is the primary bedroom suite. Definitely all like tropical feeling with the colors, the sort of like that aqua color throughout. Um, king size bed, you got plenty of space on either side. So this is plenty of space for a, um, you know, for, for a nice villa for um, 55 and up community. And then I could definitely have all the uh, Florida vibes with the different conch shells and different shells that you find on the beaches. We go over on the uh, Gulf Coast, we find some of this stuff ourselves. It's actually pretty fun. And also fossil shark teeth if you're into all that sort of stuff. So, okay, then we have uh, we have two doors here. So I think closets, which one do you think is bigger? With this one or this one? You think this one's bigger? I probably agree with you. So let's, let's open this one first and see. Okay, we got one closet there. So good size closet. And you say this one's bigger. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if Sandy's right. Oh, it's about the same size. I say the same size. I didn't guess on that one. So I guess I should have just said same size. And I would have won. Anyway, so uh, we come out this way. Here is the bathroom. Uh, we do have some nice uh, granite countertops and of course a dual sink. Nice mirror and a couple light fixtures above. And then we have all these really cool uh, drawers here, probably for makeup and stuff or hair brushes and things like that. And then on the other side, we do have a pretty large shower. It's got the chrome frame around. Usually the showers end up about here. So this one's a pretty nice size. Uh, it's got white tile throughout, little area for your shampoo stuff as well. And then we have a door behind me. This has to be the water closet, right? It has to be the water closet. If not, you're in trouble because there won't be a water. Yeah, that's the water closet. So that's this villa. So again, a little bit over 1600 square feet. It's gonna be in the low 300s. Um, if you're interested in this, make sure you give us a call. If also, if you're interested in our other channels, our luxury channel, uh, which I uh, do quite often, uh, once a week we post on the luxury channel or our Cassis and Webbers channel, make sure you check out the description below. Subscribe to our channel, like our video. We definitely appreciate whether you're looking to buy a house or just enjoy these videos. Thanks for all watching. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.